Looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. Hey, everybody. It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the best predict uh, how to get the predictor tokens and the best ways to use them and the best sets to actually do with them, guys. I'm going to go over a few ways. We're going to have the high risk, low reward. Oh, sorry. We're going to have the low risk, low reward, medium risk, medium reward, high risk, high reward, and then the mix of where you get, you know, it's kind of like doing stocks. You're going to get some of your high risk stocks. You're going to keep enough low stocks where like at worst case scenario, you're still making like 20, 30 K and at best case scenario, you're coming away with a few hundred K or however much you actually can get off of these. I have to do all the math on it, but definitely excited to go over the predictor sets, go over who I think. Definitely stay tuned to the end, guys. I'm going to be going over a few different strategies and how to actually go about doing this because of course it does change depending on who you are, right? So if you're a God squad. You have nothing to lose. Maybe you or you have so many coins, you don't care. Maybe you just take the safe ones, right? Or maybe you swing for the fences because you don't really care. The coins aren't going to affect you. But if you're a budget squad, right, and you need like 40k for this player you've been waiting for, maybe you go ahead and you do the high risk ones because at the end of the day, or you know maybe you do a mix of high risk and low risk so that you can have a chance at some making a lot of coins. But at least you get the low ones for the player you want. Or maybe you never buy packs. You're so broke, Madden. The only chance you ever have of getting one of these Joe Namath cards is getting one of the 100k ones or something like that. So you, you swing for the fence on all of them, right? It's like a lottery ticket. But again, we're going to get into the video, guys. Before we do, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell. And of course, guys, always like and comment. It helps out the channel tremendously. YouTube, that's how it works. So if you guys are here, comment down below your favorite predictor token set. Who do you think is winning the Super Bowl? Like I said, I personally think Chiefs. And of course, smash the like button. Once you guys do all those things, let's get into the video. And if you guys need coins, head over to my reserve and use code Poodle for an additional percentage off your total order. But yeah, let's get into this. So let's move on over, guys. So if we go on over, so missions, right? Super Bowl missions are here. Predictor tokens is what we're going to be focusing on right here. So collect predictor tokens from predictor challenges. Put the tokens into predictor sets to guess what will happen in the Super Bowl. And earn a big payout if your predictions come true. Your, the mission ends at 6 p.m. Eastern time on February 6th. So make your predictions by then. So these have to be in before the Super Bowl is live. So for the predictor token sets, like I was saying, earn predictor so uh, tokens, complete a predictor set. If you guys know how to get to it, you just click right here. It'll take you to it. Play challenges. You go over to the Super Bowl solos. Now, there will be predictor token solos. Now, total for doing them, you get about 6,000 coins just from the uh, milestones. And if you do click in here, you can see all the other stuff. So you get about, you know, 650 per game times that by the 14 games that there are, however much it ends up being. Probably a little over 7 to 10K, give or take, is probably what we're looking at there. And then if we do go on up, guys, each one does give you a predictor token, but you do need two stars. So make sure you either play on two stars or make sure to do the, uh, the bonus requirement. I would recommend just playing on two stars. In case you don't want to focus on it, you just want to get out of the solos. The quick moment solos, get 14 of them. Now, this year specifically, the predictor tokens are only going to be a total of, I believe, uh, one token per set. So you guys don't have to worry too much about, you know, do you want to put more here or there? Just get 14 tokens, pick what you want. A lot more fun, so you don't have to worry about, like, oh, yeah, you really want to do this one and that one. As well as, guys, the predictor tokens get you a chance like gambling. Kind of like lottery tickets, you have a chance at, it's like taking bets on, you know, DraftKings, all that stuff. Pretty much use your predictor tokens to make bets in the Super Bowl, and if they hit, you get coins. If they don't hit, you still get a little bit of coins, but not much. And of course, guys, the first down tiers, I do want to check in this video too, a way to get some free packs and stuff. So I'll cover both that. But let's head on over to that. So we do have some open pack, uh, some packs to open real quick before we get into the predictor tokens. We have the welcome pack. Let's open that up. Usually some stuff in there, whether it's free, cheap, training. Uh, just some advice, you know, you can usually do something with that. So we're going to get our little player here, Joe Namath, 83 overall, and our welcome back. Can we pull a Super Bowl or Team of the Year player out of these? Or maybe even just a good power-up. I don't really care. I've been hoping for something over the uh, the course of this year, opening these. Oh, a lot of golds, though. That's not bad. All right, so we're out of that. Let's head over to the predictor stuff and the tiers. Now, guys, the first downs in the corner, I do want to go over real quick. A way to get some free packs and coins is going to go to the first down in the top left corner. Heading over to Super Bowl, and as you guys can see here, winning drive rewards. Just like the uh, Zero Chill, if you get to tier five, which is five first downs, you get a free 95 overall Super Bowl pass hero. If you do get to 95 uh, tier 10, you get another 95 overall, but this one is going to be a free 95 overall not Super Bowl present hero. So you get a past hero and a present hero. As well as, guys, you get the 20,000 coins, you get two 86 to 90, uh, 89 overall nat players, two 90 to 91 overall players, and two store packs. So if you guys do get this done, you will get free packs, free coins, and free players. So make sure you do go ahead and get these done. This is just a quick little side note, but let's get back to the predictor tokens and go check that out. Uh, so let's go to sets. Predictor sets over here are going to be right here. So predictor sets. Use your predictor tokens here. So there's 23 total sets. You get 14 total predictor tokens. So essentially, if you guys do the math, you can do just about... I'd say two thirds of them. You get about 14 out of 23. So there's only eight you don't have to do. So I would, I'll tell you the easy ones to avoid, right? The ones I wouldn't really care for unless you're doing a safe one is like, let's just say, what are the cheapest ones that don't really matter, right? Like Tampa Bay 98 plus rushing yards, like 7K. But again, these, these are decent. So we're going to start with the low risk, right? 
the ones that are low risk, low reward, the ones that are safe, right? What you would do is, this is the method you take here. You would just go, if you only want like 35 to 60K coins, what you would do is you take Chiefs win and Buccaneers win. Coin heads and tails, you take both those. So let's say you can take up to seven double enough things, right? So pretty much, you double them up. It's a guaranteed win. You either win on one of these, on one of these. So if you take all these, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then let's say all the way down here, because those can be any one. And you do, you take first touch down the field, seven. Take some of these packs. You could probably get up to about, I'd say you can use about most of your tokens going both ways. But now those, since they only average from five and seven K per, and you can only win one of them, you probably end up with somewhere in the category of about, let's say five times seven, 35 K. So anywhere between 35 K and 60 K is what you'll get. So that's if you want to play low risk. Now, that's for like budget squads and stuff. If you want to get the guarantee coins. Now here are my safe ones that I think you should really be going on. Or not safe ones, the one that I think you really should take the chance on. And that's the MVP ones. MVP Fournette and MVP Tyree Kill seem like really good ones to do. And that's just because they could literally, if one of these hits, these this only costs one token. If one of these hits, you can make 80K. 80K is much more valuable than 5K. I would recommend putting an MVP bid on Leonard Fournette and Tyree Kill. Odds of them winning it super low. It's almost always a quarterback. And if it's not, it's like some crazy defensive player. Because for a wide receiver to do really good, more than likely the quarterback did good too. But again, like I said, I would take these two because you never know. That could end up paying out way more than any of the other ones could. So definitely check that out. Now, MVP Tom Brady, I wouldn't take him or Mahomes. Primarily because it's 9K. You know, there can only be one MVP. I'd probably stay on the safer ones. Like, again, they might not even win it and you don't even get a high payout if they do. Now, the good ones are like Buccaneers score first, Chiefs score first. Again, I would double up these. I would double up Chiefs score first, do one on here and do one of those. Now, my favorite overall ones, the ones that I'll be doing personally, I'll be doubling up on Chiefs win, Buccaneers win for sure, because obviously one of them have to win. On coin heads, tails, probably those two. Chiefs score first, Buccaneers score first. Probably do all of those right there. So that, that takes up six of mine. That leaves me with eight left. Now, for the other eight, I'll be putting one on Tyree Kill and one on Leonard Fournette. That leaves me with, you know, some low risk ones over here that would just get me guaranteed coins. And then, so I already had, remember, I used six. Now I have eight gone. So that leaves me with six left. So now for six left, first touchdown, I'm putting it on probably all three of these as well. My remaining six, I'll probably put one on Travis Kelsey, one on Tyree Kill, one on Leonard Fournette, and one on Mike Evans. And then the field's only 5,500, so I wouldn't do that one. So pretty much, that leaves me with, I had six. I put four, leaves me with two left. But the remaining two guys, these are all low risk ones. I mean, nothing, nothing big here, so... With my last two, I'll probably end up tossing it on the field as well, just in case one of my guys don't score. Leaves me with one left. What's the best one here to do? Again, guys, Kansas City, 130, uh, 113 rushing yards. I wouldn't take that one. Mike Evans, 63 receiving yards. That seems like a safe one right there, to be honest with you guys. But again, put it on anyone you want. They're all going to be pretty safe here. So again, my picks are right here. I'm taking these first six. These first six. And then I'm taking these two right here. So that's eight. I'm then proceeding to take this one, this one, this one, and this one. That's another four, so that's 12. Leaves me with four left. I'm taking one on first. Hold up. So I'm taking these right here. One, two, three, four. And then we come on down. Five, six. Right, so that's my total six I'm taking. Then I'm taking seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, Leaves me with one left, and any of these doesn't really matter, whichever one you guys think are a safe bet. Tampa Bay, 98 rushing yards, seems like a safe bet. Uh, Chris Godwin, 77 yards, not sure about that one. Travis Kelsey, 94 plus receiving yards. The Tyreek Hill seems like safe ones, and Mahomes, 325 passing yards. All safe ones, but again, I would recommend taking my route. With my route, you pretty much, if any of these guys hit, that's 20 plus K right there, right? Or Leonard Fournette, 35 K, Mike Evans, 35 K, so that's pretty much, you have a chance at a really high chance at one of the first touchdowns, Mike Evans, Fournette, or Tyree Kill seems pretty likely. So you have a pretty good chance at 35K to 20K. And then on top of that, and Travis Kelsey as well. And then on top of that, these win MVP, you could easily end up at over 100K. Best case scenario, right? Leonard Fournette scores the first touchdown and has MVP. That leaves you with 100 and I believe 15,000 coins right off the bat. And then, you know, if you do these, you add them all, you get up at about 150K max, with the lowest probably being somewhere in like the 35K range, right? And maybe less. So yeah, guys, that's my best advice I give you on the predictor stuff. Again, you can do most of them, so you don't have to do too much thinking into it. But again, I would definitely take the route I took there. The stat ones are just too iffy, right? Like, why, why, why play that? You could literally do all these stats and none of them could hit. None of them could hit. But if you do these up here, you know, you do Chiefs win and Buccaneers win, you just hit 8,000 or 5,000. Coin heads, coin sales, you just hit. You pretty much hit on all those. They're guaranteed. Definitely recommend stacking those and then going with the MVP uh, big ones. Again, I wouldn't even do MVP Mahomes. Unless that, you could do that as your last one. 
instead of the stats probably a little bit safer but again with mvp mahomes it's only six thousand coins you know if oh he won it i mean he more than likely will win it him or brady if they do so maybe if you want you can stack those two but i wouldn't but guys that's about it for the video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you're new head on down below use code poodle at mutt reserve subscribe guys and of course liking and commenting helps out the channel a lot so comment down below who's your favorite for the super bowl who is your mvp favorite let me know down below what's your favorite predictor one to do here i personally really like the uh the first score touchdown ones that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm out. Peace.